Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk about Nova. Having familiarized myself with the character to a great degree, I am confident in recommending him to you as one of the top priorities for your next Mega Rank Up ticket, if you have a Mega Tier 2 ticket, or just for your focus in general, because he is a powerhouse. And there are a lot of reasons why I put him in my top 5 for the meta snapshot, the most recent one that I did a few videos back. He does basically everything except for heal himself and revive, and there's essentially nothing you can do to hide or protect yourself from an enemy, enemy Nova in certain situations. So he's constantly a threat, and we're seeing him pop up more and more as more of the community gets their hands on him. I also want to stay at the start of the video because I know there's going to be some comments about this. I only got Nova after 3.7 by using a Mega Rank Up ticket and then a Mega Tier 2 ticket. I got 10 of his bios from the lab processor and then I used two subsequent items to get him all geared out. And then of course I had to use my own materials and resources to put Uru, to put a, a CTP and to put a ISO 8. Of course. We do need a better way to get the ultimates, including Anti-Man and uh, Blue Marvel. And anytime I get the opportunity to mention it as part of another video or another topic, I do slide that in, whether we need to get them for uh, Battle World Biometrics, whether we need to see an event battle for the ultimates, which would be lovely, or even something like Timeline Battle Changes that I've spoken about on Twitch that could include rare characters' biometrics. I know the lab processor is not enough. But if you do have the items or you can purchase them and you can invest in this character, you will not be disappointed. So I want to go through what makes him so powerful. Then I want to go to some gameplay both with him and against him. So Nova as a character is most threatening because of Rocket Blast. That is the skill that essentially supercharges his power level beyond what it should be. And honestly should have made him a native tier 2 character. He's way too powerful for just native tier 1. But Nova Blast is, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill. Super Armor is nice, the Guard Hit is nice, and the Continuous Damage is great. Energy Orbs is a long iframe, which is cute. Nova Force, 5 seconds of invincibility, very standard, very good AoE damage. But that's honestly not enough. Human Rocket is cute, but it's really Rocket Blast that makes him so threatening. The, 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 the idea and the fact that they combined Penetration with Ignore Targeting makes this arguably the most damaging and the most effective skill in the game, ahead of something like Jean Grey's 5th skill, ahead of any other character's skill, Quicksilver's 4th skill, because this can kill Quicksilver during his 4th skill. This can kill Jean Grey during her 4th skill. There's nothing you can do to hide from this skill. It pierces immunity, invincibility, shields, barriers, super armor. There's no one that survives unless they revive like Dormammu or someone like that. The only way to consistently and effectively counter this is Reflect. You reflect it on him and he kills you, but you also kill him. There's really no other way to dodge this ability unless, of course, you have a ton of dodge or guaranteed dodge. So, yes, there is that kind of lingering meta still lying around, but the fact that you can stack ignore dodge on the character with something like a CTP of energy, which is why it's the preferred CTP for him, really covers up his only weakness. The only weakness being a character with high dodge. I really wish Ant-Man did more damage to expose someone like Nova, but of course without that we're just gonna have to live in the new kind of Nova world. But uh, moving on to actual gameplay of the character, you're gonna see just why he's so powerful. Uh, I'm gonna first play against him so you can see just how much damage he can do in a hurry. He can one-shot basically any character once you get uh, around to his second skill, so essentially if you're not uh, sure you just want to kill him before he gets his second skill up. But of course, the reflect of certain characters like Dormammu can definitely uh, effectively kill Nova if he's not iframing. Iframing on his first or his fourth skills uh, notwithstanding. So I'm going to try a team right now with Dormammu. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're just going to put other characters in here who can potentially survive uh, against Nova in the meantime. And then we're just going to hopefully use uh, Dormammu's reflect to uh, kill Nova and the reflect comes on his fourth skill so we want to open with that one and then uh, you know, we need the max HP and then just hopefully we'll get uh, enough from there but let's try this and you guys will see just how powerful Nova is my only win so far against him that I tried out was with my own Nova and I just spammed the second skill and I immediately killed him but in light of that we're gonna go with the fourth skill on Dormammu I immediately died to Nova 
Not a huge surprise there, but we got him with the Reflect and the 4th skill damage. And that is definitely one way to beat him, but you can see that the raw damage output, especially even with something like his 4th skill, no leadership by the way, his leadership is all speed or something like that, really not offensive at all, uh, makes him a huge threat. Other characters that have Reflect that could possibly work, someone like uh, Scarlet Witch. I actually am curious to see how much damage uh, Adam Warlock is going to take with uh, his 60% increased energy defense. I haven't had much good things or many good things to say about energy defense in general or defense in general because I think it's a completely underwhelming stat and it should be rebalanced to actually mean something, but I still want to test it out just to see. I will test an Ant-Man team later as well to get a picture and an idea for that, but let's just try out something like Star-Lord's favorite friends, Groot and Rocket against this Nova and see if Adam Warlock's defense is actually worth something. I'm going to be able to iframe, but he'll still be able to hit me with his second skill should he pop that off. I did take damage immediately there. I think that was his second skill. Didn't really do that much. His fifth skill is going, but I've got uh, my immunity up. He's doing his fourth skill, not doing too much damage, but I'm not able to do too much damage to him either. He's doing the fifth skill. He's actually not doing his second skill, which is really good for me. But there's the fourth skill again. There's my fifth. There's his fourth skill again. There's the fifth skill. I just died. Pretty sure that was the, the second skill. Let's see if we can get it. And we got a kill. Awesome. The other weakness that Nova has, obviously, is just low defense and low health. Uh, the fact that he doesn't have any guaranteed dodge, the fact that he just has low HP as a character. You can see my Nova only has about 25,000 HP. That's a lot for a universal type, and it's definitely more than universal types on average have considering that I have an offensive ISO weight set considering that I don't have any max HP anywhere uh, he's definitely statted more like a tier 2 character a native tier 2 character than a native tier 1 character that's kind of obvious uh, once you take a look a little bit closer at his um, stats stat lines but that is the basic weakness of the character uh, lacking the guaranteed dodge lacking uh, the revive or the self heal uh, is really what's well he has 10% dodge but no guaranteed dodge is really the only weakness to the character and the ability or the fact that he can be one-shotted if you catch him out of certain effects but even to the point of the 30% ignore dodge that he has which stacks on top of all of the other effects making it even harder for characters like Ant-Man like Quicksilver to use the only defense they have essentially at this point which is dodge and guaranteed dodge to try and get away from Nova. So I'm sporting almost 70%, 65% ignore dodge with a CTP, which basically erases the only other weakness that I mentioned of his, which is the fact that he uh, can't dodge or he can be dodged. But if you can stack up enough dodge, all speed, you can, you can uh, get away from Nova, but you're only gonna get away for a short amount of time and then it's gonna be kind of the end of the road for you. So. It's a really hard character to fight and to counter. Um, you're seeing a lot more Nova as well in Alliance Tournament, and he's a lot more powerful than people may have originally expected or suspected. Um, and he's right up there with Jean Grey and Quicksilver, and sometimes you see teams that don't have Quicksilver because they went Nova, Jean Grey, and Wolverine, for example. So he's even potentially vying for that other spot. Uh, he can definitely die in a hurry, but if he doesn't die, he's going to get kills off guaranteed. And you're going to see here just how powerful, just using one skill. Uh, I know the world boss uh, dimensioners are not the most challenging aspect of the game, and there's definitely uh, more difficult content that it can, this can be uh, used to, to kind of explain and show off uh, Nova's damage. But even without a damage proc, you can see that it's just enormous the amount of damage he does with his skills and how many hits his second skill has basically equating to the number of chances he'll have to hit you even with dodge involved no leadership barely any te team up bonuses and he easily does it in about 12 seconds with the load ins of black dwarf and ebony maw you know counted in addition uh, nova is also a very fast clearer for missions because of his massive damage because of how quickly he gets his skills off 
He's a very good option if you want to auto run different st story chapter missions for Uru or for characters biometrics. I've been running him in the event battle because it's quite tedious to do so many stages over and over and over again. And I pair him up with Luna Snow and Valkyrie to maximize his damage because Valkyrie and Coulson are the same because of Nova's guaranteed crit rate. It doesn't really matter whether you use Valkyrie or uh, Coulson because the guaranteed crit rate doesn't stack. But uh, in Nova's case, he clears it in like 3 to 5 seconds, and especially if he starts with the second skill, the enemy immediately dies whether they're iframing or not, and it's a really great way to uh, clear that quickly. As far as how you would build the character goes, you definitely want to take advantage of the fact that he has 30% guaranteed crit rate to further boost his crit damage and his crit rate to uh, high, the highest levels you basically can. I got almost 200% crit damage which is the max and I got almost 50% crit rate which is also quite good you also want to make sure that he has very high attack speed so in in most cases power of angry hulk might actually be better for you than overdrive unless you have a ton of attack speed from your cards so keep that in mind uh, attack speed is really good for Nova because he likes to cancel skills into other ones so for rocket blast as soon as the large blue Kamehameha comes out you can cancel that skill for maximum effectiveness you can cancel his fifth skill immediately and get the maximum effectiveness of that one. Same as Blue Marvel's fifth skill. They're almost cut from the same cloth. And then his third skill, you can just blast off for as long as you want. His fourth skill doesn't have great damage, but you can also cancel that whenever you want and still get something out of it. So you want to make sure he has maximum attack speed to combo three, five, or, or sorry, two, three, and five together uh, in kind of quick succession, two, three, five, or two, five, three, uh, in order to maximize his damage output, especially if you're stacking it on the uh, CTP or the Obelisk damage proc. I think that Nova, in, sum in summary, is a bit too powerful. Uh, I do think that he's a better option for Luna Snow, so for those of you that were asking about Luna Snow and about uh, Nova, which one they should use a Mega uh, rank up ticket on, I would go with uh, Nova if I were you. Even at Tier 1, he's a monster. Uh, and Aside from the event battle stuff for Luna, Nova's going to have a more powerful impact moving forward in the meta than Luna Snow has. Luna Snow is definitely going to make her way into the meta as we see more and more maxed out characters, but Nova has already claimed stake to that in a big way. And if you need any more, uh, any clear of a, an example, check out some of the Alliance Tournament replays. You're going to see a lot of Novas. And you're going to see a lot of fights that are decided by the first kill, which is usually secured or at least assisted by Nova's insane damage especially with rocket blast crazy I didn't even touch on the ignore defense or the the decrease all defense and that's another one that just blows my mind how many powerful effects they added into one skill he's definitely or definitely should have been in hindsight a native tier 2 character but we had too many of those at the time after age of apocalypse so I kind of understand why they went another route with it obviously the acquisition of the character was wrong in the beginning um, but now if you can get your hands on the character of course the lab processor is a bad way and kind of a frustrating way to go about it but if you do get lucky and you can work up enough bios and use a mega rank up ticket you're gonna be satisfied even at tier one with a monster character he'll even outscore odin at tier one for universal hero abx day and that's saying a lot so let me know what you guys think of Nova. Let me know how you've gotten along with him if you have him at tier 2 or if you have him at uh, 6 stars level 60. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.